Welcome to another vlog, I guess, um, today. Um, you know the stories in which it takes the whole bloody story to figure the people out. Uh, takes, a, takes, it, takes a whole story for the people to figure out what the right thing to do is. Even though it is from the beginning of the story, it's blinding the obvious what the right, what this right thing is. Well, I'm feeling like that's kind of my life at this point. Well, has been for a while. But just to see it being proven to be correct. Like, how to put it? You know, this whole I told you so kind of thing. Um, Going back a few years, I've been saying and writing on my blog for quite some time that there are quite a few possible complications with intersex conditions, including my own hermaphroditism. And well, surprise, surprise, those complications, medical complications, seem to have arrived for me this year. As I wrote in my last blog post, I had an MRI scan uh, yesterday to try to figure out why my body seems to think that I am pregnant. In the sense that, well, in large breasts, I've got this uh, Linnea nigra, it's called. A, uh, it's a line of pigment, vertical line running from the navel to the, uh, to the groin area. That's there. I've got and also got abdominal distension, kind of like something is growing there. Well, the MRI scan yesterday showed that there is nothing at for growing there, or at least <clears throat> that's what I thought. That's what the doctor who showed me the uh, MRI scan yesterday also told me. But I got a phone call from him yesterday, I missed it one, so I just got a voicemail, but he asked me to call him back on Monday, because there's something he needs to discuss with me. So, if he found so, if he saw something different on MRI scan, this might be interesting, but even if not, if it's something completely unrelated, even then, his original conclusion was that well, okay, he can't really explain anything f just from those uh, from the scan. But for further research, because there are clearer symptoms, I would have to uh, undergo more tests. This time using uh, well, getting more blood drawn to do more testing on. That would mean that I would be checking for the HCG hormone, that is the pregnancy hormone, as it's more commonly called. Just to see, well, do I actually have those hormones related to uh, pregnancy? Is anything elevated there? Further, they would have to be looking for the markers for tumors and other happy things like that. Just to get some idea of what's actually happening. So that's all. Um, what's going to happen on Monday? Don't really know. Uh, I'll try calling in the morning and I'll just see what he says. Maybe it's something completely unrelated, like I said, and doesn't really any change about the uh, the original conclusion that he can't really tell anything conclusive from or even speculate based on the MRI scan. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's just the fun weekend waiting for maybe a change there. Maybe not. Could be. Could not. I've no idea. So, but even just with the results, uh, like I had them before that uh, voicemail, with the way things. As, as I know them now, then it could be serious, and it's I'm not a 
I told you so kind of person, I don't like saying that. But it should have been bloody obvious 10 years ago what was going on. I mean, this doctor, he just clearly stated to me that he saw a normal vagina there on the MRI scan. So, done. Didn't see any other, didn't see a uterus, didn't see ovaries, of course not, because, well, I seem to just have rudimentary tissue there. Though some of it appears to be functional as well. That would be the explanation for those, uh, those cramps, um, menstruation-like symptoms and whatnot. But yeah. Ten years ago, I could have seen that as well. I could have seen that there is just, that's what I have. I am a hermaphrodite. This point, nothing more to say about that. Then, possible medical complications, that, that, that. Make sure that could, that could not happen, that cannot happen. We check for that, for that, for that. With laparoscopy or whatever. And just to make sure that and just monitor it in the in the following years, but nothing of that has happened. It's quite well known by now that in the Netherlands they the doctors completely denied that I even have an intersex condition, whatever condition it might be. Just now you're not intersex. Here in Germany, fortunately, it's a lot better, but. Last year didn't really work out either. I tried to get surgery, as some of you may know. <laughs> that didn't really work out because uh, it's almost like you're on some kind of blacklist. As in, any time you try to get help, then you just get a weird response back, or they just ignore you. They don't re respond to your communications. And that's it. So this year seems to be. Seems like my body is forcing the issue at this point because it's kind of hard for anyone, for any physician, for any psychologist to deny that I'm intersex when I'm having these symptoms. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a guy. I'm really not physically I'm not a guy. I may have some guy bits. Well, one, maybe, <sighs> but I'm not a guy. Most of my physiology is that of a, of a woman, and it responds to, like the physiology of a woman. So, lots of questions. Like I wrote in my last blog post, it's a waiting game all over again, because I'm waiting again for Monday to learn hopefully more. And if that doesn't really bring anything, then I'm still waiting, or if, if it brings something, I'm still waiting to get this, uh, my blood work done and hopefully get some results from that, or not. Just more waiting, more questions, uncertainty, and I guess after yesterday, the pronounced option, possibility, that there is a tumor, growth, something which is causing the symptoms. Or maybe it's completely benign, might as well. Maybe it's harmful, don't know. So, well, but on a more positive note, I did manage as I also wrote yesterday, to actually complete a 6.2 kilometer run uh, during B2 run event here in Karlsruhe. So, um, yeah. Actually, man, that's that. Despite whatever is going on with me, I did it. Yay. So, um, at least my physical condition is not at a point where I cannot do some things. Uh, I did have a lot of uh, cramping, abdominal cramping, before the uh, 
yeah, before the uh, event for the, the run on Thursday. That's and of course I did not really, I didn't train for it, so I did not complete it it's completely the whole time running. <laughs> That's another matter, but it's Because these symptoms are mostly harmless, it's like uh, with a proper pregnancy, you just have the symptoms. Uh, I would then be probably a few months along in a pregnancy at this rate, at that point you could still be really active without issues. It's not like you would be bedridden at that point, it's not until a month later that you really become very limited in your mobility. Um, but I. From the MRI scan yesterday, I know that I do not have anything like a child growing inside a uterus. That's, that would have been pretty obvious on the MRI scan, while it's not there. That's probably a good thing. It's probably a good thing. Though it would have been interesting if it had been there. <laughs> Something like that. Um, like I wrote jokingly um, a few weeks ago in a blog post. I could be the Virgin Maya, uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So, um, pregnancy without gels, that's what I'm going with right now. And the cons, no idea yet. So, Monday I'll maybe learn a bit more, then get some blood work done, hopefully learn even more, perhaps more scans. Perhaps surgery, I don't know. So the, the coming weeks will be, be really interesting. And yeah. Well, welcome to my life of fear, uncertainty, and doubt, I guess. <laughs> uh, but, well, also, on a more positive note, it seems that. Um, well, things at work are going better. I'm not working as much overtime anymore as I used to. I actually got some good news at work yesterday before I went home, which had me going home pretty happily, thinking that, oh, well, at least I'm going to have a quiet weekend. But well, it was until I listened to that voicemail from the doctor. Um, but that's, that's going relatively well. I'm still having a lot of fun at work, even if uh, just still dealing with my medical condition. It's uh, I wish it wasn't there. I wish it had been resolved already. Um, other points. I'm nearly done with all the draft chapters for this uh, book for book about uh, end engine, android game and web <laughs> development. That's my German uh, sneaking through. It's uh, end engine based android game development book I'm writing for Pact Publishing, which I started last year and which I'm nearly done with the last draft chapter. I hope to complete us this weekend. Then I just have to edit the chapters when, with the feedback I get from the reviewers, then hopefully that's all done. After that, yeah, when that's, that, that frees up a lot of time for me. Uh, I've got more plans um, with, well, more serious stuff. Uh, well, this is serious, but other serious stuff, more hobby related, because as uh, some may have noticed in the background and read my, well, my blog, I guess, and maybe my tweets that I actually got an oscilloscope and some other electronics equipment recently. I managed to fix a main board recently for an older Intel system by replacing some capacitors on it. It was really fun, so just getting back into that, I want to start a new YouTube channel um, around electronics, also around the uh, custom CPU architecture and writing in uh, VHDL, and also um, simulating, well, simulating, I guess running it on an FPGA, 
um, we'll be talking about that more in videos on that channel. The channel is called Neantronics. I'll be posting a, something about it on my blog <coughs> when I get some stuff on there. So stay tuned for that. I think it will be a nice change and I really hope that this medical stuff that it all works out now that maybe now because my body seems to have forced the issue that it will get to a point where well denying is no longer possible at this point no physician can possibly deny that I am intersex that I am a, a hermaphrodite that something is going on that something has to be done that this issue has to be examined in great detail that at this point the question I've been asking for the past 10 years of which organs do I actually have inside my abdomen in terms of reproductive organs that question is now completely paramount just like I've been saying for the past 10 years just that now my body has made it has made it clear why it is important that's a question people have been asking me for years why do you want to know? Well, because of uh, things like this. Because my body is now having developing issues. Might be benign, might be harmful, might kill me. I don't know. Just questions. Questions which can only be answered once I know what do I actually have inside there in terms of organs and not just the organs now, but also just as tissue ovarian tissue apparently is there what's happening there is something growing there is is it a benign growth is it something cancerous nobody knows those are the questions to be answered in the coming weeks months but hopefully something can be done about it so hopefully this year that would maybe possibly conceivably complete a more than 10 year legacy of me trying to answer that one relatively simple question this could have been answered 10 years ago if those incredible dust physicians had just been able to just look past their rusted shut dogma for just one bloody moment I only met one one dust physician who actually was able to do that but he was also the one who suffered a heart attack the next year and couldn't help me after that because he was dead this is just incredible but hopefully here in Germany that it will actually work out this time and I'm glad that I'm not in the Netherlands anymore because really if I have had severe pains pretty much every months a uh, few years ago already when I still lived in the Netherlands and you go to a physician just in a hospital um, someone who's actually supposed to know something about uh, yeah proper procedure and they're just like okay you're hurting there and when I push there and uh, it's in the vaginal area there it hurts like hell when I push there and uh, when you go through the toilets it's just pure agony what well, hurts through there I'll oh, just take a few painkillers they'll be right as rain yeah in that regard, I'm glad I'm not in the Netherlands anymore because those people there would probably have let me die. <laughs> and afterwards, be like, oh, we had no idea. So, that part, at least here in Germany, is a lot better. I'm glad for that. Just gotta get some answers now. And I hope by any kind of deity which may or not exist that this year will be the last year. But I'll have to deal with this issue. <laughs> because it's just getting to... At this point it's just getting ridiculous. So... Hopefully my next updates on my blog or feel like or whatever will be with some answers maybe. So, until then...